I know, you're all surprised that we found our way to another auction. Yes, this one is actually in the same town we live now. So that's how we chose this one. Though I didn't think there was going to be anything I was interested in. It looked more like farming equipment. But right off the bat, I was like, oh, I guess they do have some stuff that I would love to bid on. We'll just go through and take a peek. Oh, is that not a beautiful McCoy piece? But you know, when you go to auctions, there's a lot of other people like me, resellers, but there's also a lot of collectors. And at this auction, it was a lot of family members coming to buy their loved one's items back. So you have no idea by the end of the auction what you're going to be coming home with. Because for me, I'm a reseller, so I'm looking for items that I can make a profit on, not spend retail or above retail price on, unless I was trying to use it for decor in my own home. Now this matchbox was interesting because it was local from the town that I grew up in. I hate to admit it, but I've actually made these over before. They were in worse condition, but I have made them over before. You know that these frames caught my eye and then I'm like, oh, look at these sweet children praying. Oh my gosh, my heart. Sometimes when you're on auction zip is where Chris finds these auctions in our area they only have so many pictures up they don't like give you all the pictures so there was another auction going on in concord but we chose to go to this one because of there was items that chris saw that he was interested in and then it was finally local <laughs> we weren't driving two hours to an auction it's it's really just a guessing game you just never know i mean we could go home with a lot we could go home with nothing and you never know who is going to be there to buy furniture. Even though big pieces are hard sells lately in our area. Oh my gosh, that cupboard was amazing. And then this, this I don't even know the story on this freezer. International Harvester Freezer. I, I, I don't know how many tractors did you have to buy to get that. This was beautiful. And this other piece, amazing. And they went quite high. All of it went quite high. I think that piece went for 1300 I don't even know how we would have even moved that piece. And then this picnic basket caught my eye, not only because of what the date says, 1902. Do you guys see that? 1902. <laughs> that is what that says. But then when I opened it up, it's a cooler. Oh my God, I was not expecting that. When I lifted it, I could tell that it was heavy. I'm like, 1902, a picnic basket, cooler. Who would have thunk it? And it always pays to come early so you can dig in boxes and find yummies like these clocks on the bottom of a whole bunch of old razors. Yeah, yeah, that is one of the things. You do have to dig in the boxes and get in there and see what's what's in there. So did I mention that this video was going to be a haul of four, anti four, four shopping adventures looking for treasures to flip, sell, make over for a profit. And next day we go into an estate sale. We happen to be number 11. So we did get in, even though I did not get the ceramic trees, they were right there. You don't even see them because they were gone as soon as you walked in. But, and I actually filmed after I picked because it was like, a run in you just yeah you, you didn't even get to see there you know us pickers oh my goodness when there's goodies to be found <laughs> people show up in the herds <laughs> and uh, and try to find treasures then it's funny when you take a second pass you see things that you're like yeah nope don't want that thing <laughs> i don't even know what what is wrong with this right here but i would have gotten in line because i really liked that little stool but remember i was number 11 so now the line was really long and i wasn't going to just stay in line for a little stool even though i think this box is cool resellable i don't know it would be cool but i don't know how it was re how much it would be resellable what we came for is that they had all these mechanic boxes that Chris saw 
So we needed to be early because we know that they go high prices and that he really wanted to get his hands on some. And even being number 11, they still let everybody in at the same time. And those are all the treasures I missed. And then we went on to the very last day, the very last day of the Parma sale. This was a sale that was a state sale three weekends in a row. Today on our way home from Jackson, which was where that um, antique mar mercantile was, sale. And this was on the way, our way home. So 50% off on this day. So while we're going to be that close, we might as well swing in and see if there's anything left or anything that I wouldn't buy at the price that they're asking. Just recently watched a Curiosity Inc. episode where Alex found one of these coffee makers for your car <laughs> that he actually bought for himself. Okay, okay, so on to our last sale that was not expected. I would, did not plan on going to this sale. I actually wanted to go to it the last time I went to the Parma sale. It was a garage sale. She had signs up all over the place, but totally forgot to turn down this amazing dirt road. <laughs> um, and so on our way, I'm like, you know, it's up to you, Chris, because your lines are going to be playing. You're going to be missing your pregame. And he's like, well, let's just go check it out. It's the last day of their sale. We'll see if there's anything left. I don't know. There is something tranquil. I grew up on a dirt road where the trees all touched. It's just so pretty. To drive on, it doesn't feel so well. <laughs> well, but to drive in and for the view, it is gorgeous. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It has been a busy four days. Four days of editing repurposing, making things over, and also shopping for items to resell, repurpose, or make over on our other channel. Oh my goodness, if you do not know, you're probably over here from Ginger Chick Rehab, but this is the Journey channel where we share the behinds of the scenes of the shopping, of making over a home, or of our workshop, organization, home decor, Every other little thing other than repurposing, crafting, DIYs will you find on this channel. But in today's video, yes, it is a haul video. There has been four days of sales. We are winding to the end of September into the early October, the first of fall. Garage sales are going to start dying off around here. So when I see one and I see things that we are interested in, we are going to go out and about looking for them. So on Thursday, I started off with a couple of garage sales that I wasn't even expecting to go to. My friend Diane, who also resells, told me about them here in our local town, our new local town. So I'm like, you know what? I need inventory. I'm going to stop what I'm doing and I'm going to go over and check those out and well worth it. And then we hit an auction on Saturday. And then on Sunday, the next thing you know, we're going to another estate sale and then a random fourth day, fourth day y'all, of a garage sale. And it was well worth stopping by. And Chris still made it home in time to do the pregame for the Lions game on Sunday. So he was pretty happy about that. So so I'll, I already shared with you what was out and about on some of the tables and where, you know, what we saw in our travels through that beautiful, beautiful dirt road. There's just something so serene about a country road. So, so yes, you would love as a reseller to go someplace where you would pick everything up and you'd have enough inventory for a month. But yeah, that doesn't always, <laughs> that doesn't always work. So in multiple trips, it's multiple times. It's like going in, you know, I'm no longer lo local to Goodwill. So my daily trips to Goodwill are kabush, kapish, whatever, they're gone. I, and the two thrift stores here in our local town are not worth my time. They're, they're way too hit and miss. There's more misses than hits. So I'm not going to stop what I'm doing, waiting for paint to dry, to drive to them. They're just, it's not worth my time. So I have to hit estate sales. I have to hit weekend auctions with Chris, which we both love to do together. So I hit a garage, um, I hit an estate sale on Thursday. That's how I started my morning off. It's the same estate sale I've been to. This is their third sale. And this time for some reason they posted pictures and I spied something I had been looking for for a while. And I have wanted one of these, <laughs> these baskets. I know it's hard to see. I'll take the camera down so you can see it. Whether I resell it or not, it might just be for display or I might find out, 
a way to put pillows and blankets in my own house in it. I just have always wanted one. Yes, that was the only thing that I got at that estate sale, which was a 25 minute drive, but well worth my time because it was something, it needs to be pulled out. I didn't pull it all the way out because it's foldable. Um, but yeah, it's just something I've always wanted. Like I said, I don't know if I'm keeping it. I'm probably not reselling. I'll probably use it for display because it, it's a nice display piece. So the two garage sales I stopped in locally, one was a lady who did salvage like what Chris and I, and then another lady was doing, she was getting rid of her yard decor, out, yard outdoor decor, which I absolutely love to make over, repurpose, resell. I love to thrift it. So let me share with you what I got at those two sales. So look at the pig. I think the pig is beautiful, though I think I probably will, to get it to resell in my retail booth because it's quite large, I would need to paint it, even though I think the patina is really pretty. We'll see how it cleans up and if I can just do some weather defense on it or not, but it's a nice metal pig. Um, sometimes you never know. I, I can't pass up these little bowls. Um, so... This is some more, look at those toads. So this little, this little toad is like, he sits at the end of something. I, um, yeah, like her prices were wonderful. So a couple metal pieces, this little fly. He had a friend, the toad had a friend. Um, I think this was at, these were at the salvaged ladies. Um, I love crows, I got a bird. This is a bird house. <laughs> the birdhouse pig oh my gosh these cows were neat they're hollow plastic just cool cow pieces oh my gosh i love that they're already black she had a couple bottles i mean i love putting labels on those look at that face it's resin but that's a cool cool piece three little tiered stars this was another salvage piece i've always looked at those at auctions and I'm like, do I want it? Do I not want it? But uh, that rust and that galvanized, uh, probably a piece I'll keep for myself. I just absolutely love it. Love that I ran across an old bucket that I can repurpose. I could use, had seen better days and it's just, you know, it's just a bucket that could, could use a makeover. Salvaged <laughs> sale. Oh my gosh. Now we went back twice, actually. I went on Thursday, then Saturday before we hit the auction, I went with Chris. And so she had brought some more stuff out. So I picked up these because I thought, you know, you could cut these, the bottoms of them off. They were probably one big chunk together, but cut the bottom off so they're shelf sitters, so that they'll sit and then give them some chippy, a little bit more chippy paint along with this. This probably came off the same piece. Um, great like she said I always wanted to make that into a candle holder that you could you definitely could do that so then she had some frames this one still had the glass I love the depth of them how deep they are and I love that they're wooden um, this one still had the glass also I love how big it is I picked up a bucket of change which always seems weird but you know sometimes you you the, you need these so for minimal amount I'm going to go ahead and pick those up couple more salvaged pieces. I love that arched piece. And then this one is a galvanized metal piece. We, we needed to be friends because we would pick up the same thing. We couldn't go shopping together, but we needed to be friends. Another little salvaged arched piece. This was another, and the prices, like I said, her prices were wonderful for us resellers. Um, so that was a cool piece. I love that she, I started collecting these clock faces. <laughs> for myself so I was happy to run across another one there's a couple more salvage pieces back here um, I would actually take the two wooden things they're kind of awkward and fold in and just have that square in the middle I know that this is a p pool ball you know how you rack them up but I thought that's still I can see doing something with that an old wheel some other pieces and parts she had she had the same clock collection, except hers were the little alarm ones. Um, so minimal, I'm like, I'm gonna pick those up. I love wooden pieces. These are some bowling pieces. This is just a cool birdhouse. Oh my gosh, is that not? Oh my gosh, I just absolutely love that piece. We got another little round frame. And then I know these came off of, you know, your old pulleys. But I'll show you at the end of the video what to do, what is an idea to do with some of these older pulleys. 
um, to use as risers. The same as these pieces of wood. She had like a bucket of lids, and I, I picked out like the flattest pieces. These are old car um, cutting boards, but they make a great way to put candles and to make little vignettes awesome she had a couple little wheels and i'm like oh i could see those in some projects and little displays these were some cute a little stack of these aged funnels i could make these look a little bit older with some patina i love the patina of this doorknob i take that off and make this into some type of christmas tree look at this chicken everything about this chicken he needs nothing but to be cute Another doorknob, I loved the, I have a ton of doorknobs, but you know, when you find the unique ones and then some old printer press. And at first I thought they were three eyes, but they're not, it says, hi, hi. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool. And a couple, I, I love wooden spools. They're just great accents. And then she made these little baggies. She just only, um, so I thought, you know what? I love those. I can make those into window boxes. So, or window, what are they called? Oh, wall pockets. There you go, wall pockets. <laughs> wall pockets. She had already made them. So then we hit the auction, y'all. So let's see what here. I bought a box because I thought these little praying girls and these frames were just, these little children were just so sweet. And then these other little pictures came in that box. But those two are what I was after. Um, I did bid on this cheese box. I fell in love with that metal detail. And you can actually see the metal detail from the inside. So see how you can see it from the inside and even that one. So I think I probably would not put paper or anything in there because I think that metal is a great accent to make it into some wall decor. Oh my gosh, it's just, oh, awesome with that metal. So we picked up this egg basket because it had this writing on it. When they have wording and stuff like that, that's what really gets them to resell. Um, we did not get the egg scales because those. So at this auction, there was like six ladies were there from the family. Um, and they were bidding a lot. So we did not, they wanted to get their family stuff back. So it was, there were some fights there, y'all. You would have been, been entertained. There was a rocking chair, a little kid's rocking chair that we have seen like in free piles, other things that I kid you not that um, nobody usually wants. Just a little wooden, nothing fancy, little, I don't even know. I should have, I wish I would have had a picture of it. $300. These ladies were fighting over this rocking chair and it went for three hundred dollars <laughs> something that like you can't even give away at a sale at five dollars but so we did not get as much at this sale as we wanted it was just sometimes it was very entertaining y'all mm -hmm. so i wanted to get some of the egg scales so that wasn't <laughs> that wasn't happening and i had never seen ironstone chamber pots go for so much i don't even remember what the final tally on the chamber pots were they kept calling them bean pots but i was like oh my gosh they the, the ladies were funny so with that being said yeah our haul from the auction is small we did win the bid on this this had wording on it now this would be local to us and we actually lived like our old house was off of rawson road which I did not know. We were trying to look up the history and we knew the Brock, we know the Brockway family. We did not know that generations of them owned, um, somehow owned a funeral home. Furniture and funeral services. What a combination. So you all strike it right by trading with us. Wow. <laughs> but I love the patina. Um, I'll probably put that in our booth because of it being local uh, and see how it goes. So some, some of the stuff came in boxes like this old, it's not terribly old lantern. Um, I told Chris to keep this piece out because I can see putting some greenery, some pit berries, some light. Why is this so close? <laughs> some, I can see putting some pit berries, some greenery. I mean, look at, I mean, let's see, let's see, that better. Um, it's just, I mean, it's got a wooden handle. It's got the rusty crustiness. You could hang it because it has that hook. 
So I saw so much, I mean, it was a lantern of some sort, but yeah, I saw, I'm like, let's keep that because I'd be happy to make that over. So I got a box <laughs> and I spied, like, like this was the clock that I spied. And you know, I love old clocks. I love the patina of these ones. So they all kind of go together. This one's glass is broken, but you know, it, there, it's about the story, not it's always the usefulness out of them. So, and then I didn't even know this one was in there. That was a bonus piece. Oh my gosh, love that little guy. He is so super sweet. And then we had this one. Look at that face. So that's a little bit different of an error. They're all the wind up. I just love the wind up ones. I am a sucker for old clocks. Some little, little kids shoes. This was in the cheese box. Was that not appropriate that that was in the cheese box? Is he not a little stained glass mouse? Look at his tail. Oh, look out. Here. Oh, look at that tail. He's so stinking cute. And then this motivated me because this came in the cheese box. I'm like, I need to do a craft. So actually in the later, later in this video, see, I picked up some of these rings. <laughs> Look at that little mouse. Oh my gosh, he's so small with some dried flowers and a pine cone. That is petite work. So this is a fairy light, but it's just a little bit different of a version. Can't believe I got some jadeite. This one glows. I don't have my light on me, but this one glows. And then this is just a nice little un unnamed jadeite bowl. This little chicken came in the box, the cheese box. And then this is actually a piece of Pol Polish pottery, um, a little tea bag holder. I love this granite ware teapot. I thought it was, it's large, it's beautiful. It's just got enough age on it. A great shelf sitter, you know, you could probably use it if you wanted to, but a great accent I did piece. get some of the iron, so not, not the chamber bots, but I got this piece. It didn't have the lid, but, you know, it doesn't matter because this, these are nice to put other things in. And then I picked up this platter. It's a Meekin piece. So I like to have a platter stack, actually. I collect those. And then I did win a bid for some salt shakers, and I actually was bidding on these. These are glowy glass, the uranium glass. They need a bath. They still have salt and pepper in them. And then I really was just going from them, and I didn't pay very much. So I grabbed these salt shakers for project pieces. This didn't have the lid, but that's okay. That's that Hoosier, that green, green glass. I thought these are kind of neat. I don't know if they would sell or not, but I grabbed them. And then this was in the lot, Italy little creamer, along with these little boots. I don't know if little shoes and boots sell, but who knows, who knows. And then a brass candlestick. I thought it was neat because it is ornate. And then another box, it was just some, oh, this, this, all the shaving stuff came with the clock. So that's where that came from. So we actually weeded out a lot of it because it was just all broken and overused. I did bid on this. Um, I love that it has a lid. Usually when I find them, they do not have a lid. The ones with the wire handle usually sell really well. I don't have to do anything else with them. I love this thermos. I think it's missing its outer thermos, which probably would have been red. Um, but still, that black is that black is everything. It's gorgeous. Chris picked up this older box. It did come with a Cricut box that I wanted. It's just junk in there. Um, but it was it was too far gone. It had some kind of weird oils on it. A couple rolling pins. Unfortunately, the rolling pin in the box I did not notice. <laughs> so maybe that's one that I cut down. Some older tools. Chris cut these nice out. We know that these nice knives are nice and sharp, so who knows. But I was bidding on the box because I want... Look at it. I've never seen a small ma ma masher. Small masher. Oh my gosh. Look at that patina. It's too cool. But like, so all that came in that box just because I wanted that. And these are not real silver, but I know y'all do projects with these little silver plated. So I thought, well, I should keep those. There's a set of four, five, five, four, five. Let's try to do a count. And then these are always nice projects. You know pieces to have in projects and I always love when people look at me like 
Do you ever do that? You buy something and somebody's like, why are you buying that? You know, that's nasty, gross. You know, everything's, everything is in the eye of the beholder, right? So my next purchases, I, I had Chris because there was two separate auctioneers going. And so I'm like, if, can, if you can you get me these three things in this furniture line, <laughs> these amazing, I'm sorry, but these are amazing. The, the age, look at those, y'all, look at those. Those, I think I'm going to upgrade the ones that I have to these. I'm probably going to clean them. I'm going to wax them. I do not care that they look like they are beyond their days. I think they are gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't want them to be pristine. I think they are awesome, and I love that there was two of them together because I probably would have passed up on one, but being that there was two of them together, just like all this, all that going on, Oh my gosh, just, I'm like, oh, I need you. And then nobody wanted them. So, I mean, yeah, so this, you know, oh, the straps might even be inside. I don't know if you can even open them. Open them, maybe not open them. Yep, oh, look at the straps are inside. Any million dollars in there? Nope, no million, <laughs> no million dollars. So that one's got its part of its strap, but that one's, you know, it, ha it doesn't matter to me. It does not matter to me at all. Now, I know y'all see this. Look at this thing. Woo! <laughs> so, um, we couldn't touch furniture at this auction. They went really, really high. They had some amazing pieces. That one piece. So, the one piece that was like that huge built-in white with chippy green behind it went for $1,300, and it deserved to. But, I, one, we didn't have a way to haul it. <laughs> we didn't have a way to display it. Oh, it was gorgeous. And... And those were really, I mean, the red one I might have done a little bit too, but they were pieces that we weren't really going to do anything. So this next piece that I'm showing you is because I, we envisioned it as a, um, a display piece in one of our booths. So you could put set things down in it. It's really cool. So it must have, some um, international harvester or some something, some McCormick Harvesting Machine Corpse. I don't know, some big box, something came in, and then they made this bin out of it. So it's quite large, but, I mean, the depth, look at that. Wouldn't that be nice to display things in your booth without worrying about them sliding off? I thought, that is a great, it's, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's probably five foot, six foot, maybe, I'm guessing, but it's sturdy. So, and it had that writing on both ends. So, loved that. And then when we bought that, this ironing board, I was going to leave the ironing boards because they don't sell. Um, but Chris said, take it for the wood and we can make a sign out of it. He is right. He's definitely right. So, the other furniture piece I asked him to bid on with this beautiful little stool. Oh my gosh, hi. I would just give this thing a bath and call it good. I think that green... That green is going to pop underneath there. It's got a great patina on it. And then I picked up this mirror for minimal. I think once I clean this up and just leave the chippy the way it is, it's a nice, nice chippied mirror, older mirror. It just needs to be cleaned. And at the 50% off estate sale, I did pick up this broken bread box. But for minimal, I'll be willing to do something with it. <laughs> It, it needs it needs a lot of help. it needs a lot of help, but that's okay. That's what we love to do. Their primitive box, though, it does not have the lid anymore. I can envision like flipping this, oh, amazing. flipping this the other way, like that, and then decor. Like take the paper, the really old paper, out of the bottom, ah, and then using it for a dis. Oh, is that cool? Very cool. What's the age? What's the age? Great, y'all gonna ask? Um, oh, there's the age. July seventeenth, nineteen twenty-nine. Ooh, wow. That paper's been in there a while. So my next is the Sunday. <laughs> so that's Saturday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Thursday. Anyway, so um, yeah, I'm trying to remember how it all. Went. It doesn't really matter. So Saturday, Sunday morning, we get up, we go to the estate sale, we hit 
the third day of the other estate sale that I already hit earlier on Thursday. <laughs> um, so I would go back again on Sunday because it's 50% off day. So let's see what I got. And then we stopped at that random garage sale. So at the estate sale, it was, we were number 11, as you saw. <laughs> so I love this clock. I love the, it's the mechanism. Look at that mechanism. So, oh, it's not a clock. It is a Brahm, 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 Brahm meter. Oh my gosh, you know my language, I, I, I suck. <laughs> I do not say things correctly, but it is cool. So it is, yeah, I thought it was a clock when I picked it up, but it is not. It is actually a barometer. So that is cool, which then makes sense why these were sitting next to it, why these were sitting next to it. I just, I don't know what it is about numbers and, and little arms. I just think that they were cool. This one was really cool. And then I did pick up these little mirrors. I thought, oh my gosh, you could like put them this way, you know, you could, oh, they're just, I mean, they're meant to hung a different way, but I just, I thought they're cool. The framing is cool. Everything about it is cool and they're little. And then I love this carved root piece. Oh, beautiful, beautiful piece. Leave that as is. Then I picked up this little box. This is little drawer box that came off of something. I love those. I, I, you don't even have to do anything to those, and they sell as, as is. Um, Chris picked up this tool and a little oil can. And then these little kitty cats, almost like a sphinx, sphinx you know, the Egyptian cat, um, the way that it's sitting. And they were just metal cats. So, oh yeah, hello, they were minimal. I'm going to pick up those going into the Christmas season. And then I picked up this brush. <laughs> because I like the green and the old brushes. And then I realized, I'm like, oh, well, that's interesting, but it's still a cool, like she's got a um, grass skirt on it. So very cool. I just thought it was a green handled brush. I did not know it was a lady. A couple old Bibles and then this beautiful rosary, nice and heavy rosary. This little Bible was in a nice little leather package. I love that. And then I got this piece. Oh, now y'all know that I, I have sold stuff similar to this. So this was minimal. It's not, it's kind of a resin. It's not ceramic, but I just love the toads, the frogs, the butterflies. I love the patina of that. Oh, I can't wait to get that in our booth. So now at the final day, the half off day, I picked up, I found, they kept bringing stuff out. So you, even though you think it's the final day, new things got added. So the, this is a little ironstone bowl. This is a Johnson Brothers. There was this ironstone, which I know if I would have saw it, I would have got it the first day. So little ironstone without the lid, but that detail, I always love that detail. I told you they had some of those rings and we had just left <laughs> that sale. So I picked up some of those rings. I thought these are cool. Like you can see the keyholes. So they were for a door, but I thought that would be nice to have in our stash redoing furniture, this cute little tin box, this stack of books. <gasps> I don't even know what they are. <laughs> They're pretty cool though. Another little thermos. And then I think I just painted up one of these little similar tins. What does that say? Mocha Java. Mocha Java? Hmm. Other one I think was a tea one. I thought the, this little set of vintage um, ornaments. I love that the colors are so bright on these. And then little children's white skates. I was actually looking for some skates to reduce some sleds that I did. And then they had this children's set of play skis. And I thought, oh my gosh, coming into the season, these are perfect, especially since it had, it had the little, um, I don't know what those are called. I don't know how to ski. I don't know how to skate, but I just think they were and cool. I picked up this mirror for resale. It needs a bath, but it's, you know, it's an old dresser mirror, but the patina is perfect and half off day. It was priced wonderful for resale. The other mirror, I think I found my mirror that I have been wanting a mirror for our entryway. And I think if I paint this one black, it will fit into what we need. So half off day, great sale. I love that. It, I wanted some type of a shape. 
to it and I wanted some details, but I didn't want it to take away from my other antiques. And then the main reason to go to this estate sale um, was we saw these mechanic boxes for Chris. Um, they are, they do need work, but that's what he loves to do. So he was perfectly happy with what they were priced so that he could make them over for resale. So he'll have some project pieces coming in for you all. So the last sale was the random garage sale. And I saw it when I went on Thursday to the estate sale. Um, but then I forgot about it on my way home. So I didn't actually stop at it. So when we were back coming from the estate sale, the third, the last day, I'm like, if we have time, can we stop? Cause I know Chris loves to watch the lions pregame, the whole game. He's out in the workshop right now working on the sliding door, I think for our paint room. So, you know, cause we're, we're winding down on days that I can paint outside. So yeah, so he gave up a little bit of the pregame to stop at this. This was my little goodies from that sale, third day. I bought this little box of Littles. I'm like, they're little wooden, like ready for to make things out of Christmas. Christmas, it looks like. Um, little Santa Claus, there were some Christmas trees. There were some little horses. So I picked that up because I thought I need to have those for Christmas. I, I don't, I, wooden piece, you know, I, I just, I love to come up with something for wood. I liked this rolling pin. I need one like a hole in the head, but there it is. I, I love the uniqueness of it. And then she had a Bible, so I picked up the Bible. And though, even though I can, you know, you can always use something to clip, like, things on that are tall. So she had two of these and I thought just spray paint them black and that would be nice for some signage. I, then I don't have to make it <laughs> or find it. And I thought this picture was really sweet. Love the frame. It was ornate. And then I love the little girl. She has her kitten. She's praying before her meal and she has her little puppy dog saying, I'll eat that bacon for you. <laughs> And then I'm glad that we stopped, not only because of the rosary. So this is just one of those nice plastic rosaries. I know, I, I know, it's like the fourth or fifth one I have picked up now. <gasps> but look at y'all what I found. Very last thing of the weekend that I bought. <gasps> yep, that's what they are. So yep, a set of three Johnson Brothers. Johnson Brothers. Ironstone butter pats. <gasps> Beautiful crazing for my crazing lovers. It's like, it's funny because you have dark, light, 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 medium, dark. <laughs> oh my gosh. They are everything. And I would probably sell this set as three, as, as a set because it, you know, the uniqueness, the uniqueness of the shape. That shape is awesome. And if, if they all were this color, I would probably be keeping them. So these were amazing, amazing find. I cannot believe. And I tried, I wanted to buy those butter pats at the estate sale, but they wouldn't separate them from the china. So, oh, amazing way to finish up the weekend. Oh, and I did, I did forget this board over here. I think it's just a snowboard, um, just a wooden snowboard at the salvaged, but with some greenery for Christmas and, you know, like a ribbon and stuff. I mean, yeah, it was a great project piece, so I can't wait to, can't wait to get to Christmas. <laughs> getting, I'm gathering for Christmas right now, so I can't say I'm doing Christmas, but I'm gathering for Christmas. So thank you for watching today's thrift haul. Let me know down in the comments below. Yep, four days. That's just what it takes to be a reseller. It's, it's constantly shopping, constantly shopping, constantly looking for things to make over, it, you know, and yeah, somehow we have to fit it all into to our days. I, I don't know how we do it sometimes, but again, thanks for watching guys and we will see you next time and you can see what we're up to. Bye.